Hello everyone, I'm Flying Dutchie and welcome back to our next part in the uh, Achievement Run as Spain. Let's unpause the game. I had a small break of 5 minutes and we are continuing. We are waiting for this fort to go away. To get sieged. So we can finally peace out Lithuania. And after Lithuania we can peace out Poland. And then we should go for Persia, I think. To get one of the achievements, at least. Hey, we have it. Nice. So now we can peace out Lithuania. Lithuania, from you. You have to give this one to Brandenburg. Give this to Silesia. And give this to Austria. Yeah, this is exactly what I want. So, Lithuania out of the war. And now we should peace with... Poland. And maybe we can take all of it now. Oh, yes we can. Poland is out of the game. Yep. Bye bye Poland. And Moldavia. So this is what we own now with the HRE. And uh, I think I should go to war with Kiev right away. I will give Brandenburg a connection. They are still disloyal. Hmm. Why are you still disloyal? Can I do something about it? Uh, I could placate your rulers. Yeah, let, let's do that. But they should become loyal again now. Right. Yeah, there they go. So, at least Brandenburg is loyal again. And Kazarox is asking, are you going for a thousand provinces? I'm trying to do it. Yes. But that is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty hard. I think I have around 500 now. And your... Uh, your... Uh, colonial nations doesn't count. And that's the problem. But I'm going to try it. Okay, declare war. Before we... Uh, Gave the provinces to Brandenburg. Ostrov. They ha they still have to core it, I think. No. They will get a core. Nice. So these two, and then Brandenburg has access to uh, Riazan as well, together with Poland, Austria and Bohemia. So then we can extend these four nations into the rest of the world. Um, how is my... <sighs> these are so high. Milan as well. We cannot royal marry you because you are disloyal. That, that's really a problem, actually. I can also not annex you. I cannot do anything about it. Bohemia is also very... Oh, I can do bestow imperial grace. That should help. A bit. Just a bit. 
You can check province accounts, or is it that you are unsure about the HRE amount? I'm also unsure how much, how much I will get out of the HRE. That is true. And uh, yeah, I know it's in the ledger country and then number of provinces. So we have 529. So that is going to be pretty hard. I don't think we can do it, actually. But yeah, if these all count, provinces in the new world, then we, then we uh, would easily get it. But it doesn't count. You have to own it themselves. It's also in your finance tab. Number of provinces. Really? Oh yeah. There it, there it is. Thank you for that. Uh, keep a check our... Which one can we solve? Bohemia. We have to solve Bohemia. We cannot... We cannot lose Bohemia, guys. We cannot. Uh, uh, I can placate your rulers. Cost me 20 prestige, but then you are loyal again. And I can marry you. There we go. Marriage. And you should be happy now. So Imperial Subject actually get Liberty Desire now. Yeah, but this is still in patch 1.12. Because I started this Let's Play campaign in uh, 1.12. So I would also finish it in the same patch. But yeah, they get Liberty Desire. And uh, a lot actually. Okay, Brandenburg, you get the next one. This one. And then you get this one. And then we will attack Kiev and Ryazan. Ryazan is allied with Uzbek and Kiev, so I can make you a cobra belligerent. And Uzbek is allied with Riazan and Perm, so I can make all these nations a co belligerent. Nice. That is nice stuff. Perm from the map, yes please. That is well what going what's going to happen, so let's do that mission. Get rid of all the forts here. There is no need for it. Okay, the last one that will go to Brandenburg. You get this one. So now you have a land connection. And I can feed you the Riazan land. Yes. Declare war on Kiev. And Riazan will become a co belligerent. Okay, there we go. Time to feed our vessels a bit more.
Oh, these leaders I get are fantastic. A 6-6 six, six leader. That is the best you can get. 6-6 six, six leader. Uh, I'm also going to take the next military idea. More tactics, 0.5, so that is a lot actually. More morale and some new units. Let's have a look at the new units. Uh, the last units we can get in this game. So what I don't need is morale. So I want my pips in these first two categories. So it will be at least the Napoleonic Square or the Jaeger Infantry. And the only difference is the morale pip. The Napoleonic Square has one more in, the, in offensive morale. So I think I go for the Napoleonic Square. And when we look at the cavalry, also the same reason. I'm not taking the Latin Chasseur. I don't need morale. I need more pips in the shock and fire phase. That's more important. So I go for the Lancers. Full, full offensive shock. And the flying battery is still the last one. So we have the optimalized army now. You can actually have 5 pips in Siege too. Yeah, you can have 6 pips in, sh in uh, Siege as well. I think I still have that one. Oh no, he died. But I had one leader that had 6 pips in the Siege modifier. That was pretty sick. Let's test our new army. And give this one a leader. A 3-4-2-2. That's alright. And you did not join the war? No. Nope. Uzbek did join the war? No. Nope. So, no Uzbek and Per. Unfortunately. Okay, let's test our army. There we go. This should be a lot of fun. We have 9 morale. 3.8 tactics and more discipline. Six in siege, a bunker buster. If I ever heard of one. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sick. I could siege every fort in uh, two or three months. Okay, let's see how this will go. Look at the difference. He stack wiped the, the Kievan army. Come on, I want to see this battle. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 4,000 a month. Whoa. We are too strong. We are really too strong. Should I go to war with someone else? I can defeat everything what I want. Hmm. What should we do? We could eat Congo. Do we want Congo? Or do we want this region? Of course we I want to declare war on Persia, but that's a big war because Ming will help as well, so. I will wait a bit with Persia. Maybe Georgia. Perm and Hedyas. I could eat all of Hedyas here. Give it to the Mamluks if I want. And eat Perm. And Hedyas is allied with Crimea and Georgia. Yeah, that is going to be a very nice war to do. Oh, Hedjas is not joining. Let's wait a bit. Maybe they will join soon. I hope so. Hmm. 
My diplomats are not doing anything, so... Uh, how is Milan looking now? Oh, this is going wrong with Milan. Spanish La Plata, I could uh, improve relations to get them out of there. Spanish Brazil as well. There we go. So this is the uh, war and that's it. So let's kill Riazan in Kiev. Okay, everything is caught here, almost. Yeah, you come back. And I think I will take all of the coast of Africa. Because when we are keeping uh, colonizing America, we will not get the provinces for our achievement. For the thousands in one of the provinces, so it's better to colonize in this region. I should have done that right away, actually, when I'm thinking about it. Uh, what is this? I've never seen this one before. Tangri? Tangri? Is that the only Tangri province in the world? National unrest minus 2 and regiment cost minus 10%. That is actually a very nice modifier. I would love to become Tengri. It's really nice. Oh, the Oriad starts at Tengri. Okay. So do a, a few smaller nations. That religion should be very nice actually. Minus 2 unrest. That is really nice. I think that's better than the Catholic religion. Encourage the Encomedia system. Yeah, sure. Should I become the defender of the faith? Get extra missionary. Yeah, let's do it. So now we have even more morale. Our armies have a morale of 9.3. That is pretty high if I should say so. And we don't even have the defensive uh, ideas. Combined with the minus 5 years of separatism, revolts don't happen often. Yeah, that's a good combination. That's really nice. I could attack Crimea. Hetjas and Kiva, where is Kiva? I don't know. Oh, here. There we go. We have another war. Minus five years of separatism cause hard ideas. Yeah, and of course you can take uh, the, the humanist idea as well. And then you don't have any separatists anymore or something? Is it then uh, totally over? That would be ridiculously strong actually. Okay, so we are at war with Hetjas now. Which will be occupied by myself. Ooh. 
Click, 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 click. Yeah, I know. All the clicking. We have Moscow. We have Riazan. Let's try to kill this army. We should be able to do it. We are so strong. Start with religious cause free CBs on everyone. Yeah, that is so, so strong. Oh, shoot. I missed the army. I think I go to go for the next uh, technology. Nah, let's wait a bit more. There is no need to rush it. I need all the admin points to core. Everything. Okay, are we going to uh, get them or not? Yes, okay, we have a battle. Yeah, bye bye Riazan. Bye bye. Where are you going? You are going... No, you stay here. Siege down these provinces. And this one will go to this fort. And the Mamelucks with their rebel problems. It's insane how much rebels they have. They can't core their land for some reason. They just don't. Why are you not coring? Why? Why are you going so bad, Mamelux? Please. Please tell me why. No, just go here. Uh, I don't have access. Okay, stay here then. <laughs> hey, expert dude. <laughs> the Mamelux doesn't want to core. Coring is effort, and Egyptians don't give effort. You are a racist. You are a racist, and I will not repeat what you have said anymore. Okay, we have 860 Diplo points, so it's time to get the technology. This will also lower the Liberty Desire. And we have a colonist available. So it's time to get this connection uh, going. Oh, 
Oh, the Uzbek is in the war. I forgot about that. Um, this army. Go to the Uzbek. <laughs> yeah, but I had to do that. They were annoying. I had to conquer them. <laughs> I had to conquer them. I'm very sorry. Colonies already again. What? Okay, go to the capital then. Nice. Go to the capital. Okay, the last things we need to do for the world discover achievement is revealing this land here. That's the only thing we have to do. So, where's my fleet? Oh yeah, that's there. Uh, I will... I will build three boats. I will build three Napoleonic squares and that is going to discover the rest of what we need. I should not forget about it, which will happen, but uh, yeah, that's how things are going with me. I forget all these things. Look how sad Kiva is. Yes, they are very sad. Sad Kiva. And it's their own fault. They made mistakes. They should not they should not do that again. Okay, this will be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching, give your like and subscribe. And in the next part, well, we will take a lot of land. I can promise you that, so see you in the next video. Bye bye.